guy named Knuckles, you are really bad at punching. With the post credit scene, the guys at Sega should have given us Sonic 3 the moment we walked out of theaters after watching Sonic 2. But that's not how the world of movies works, sadly. Are we getting a threequel or not? And if so, when? Well, let's find out. Sonic 2 was the most recent iteration in the franchise, and boy was it a success. The film ended up making more than $400 million at the global box office. Released on April 8, 2022, the movie had been nothing short of a hit. With these kinds of numbers, Sonic 2 was one of the most successful movies for recovering the film industry in the midst of a pandemic. In fact, Sonic 2's success was far greater than that of Sonic 1. Overall, Sonic has proven to be a reliable cash cow for Paramount. With that said, it's highly likely that the studio will be on board with the third film. So will that idiot sheriff and his wife. And your little dog, too! Well, let's get one thing out of the way. We are getting Sonic 3. It's a pretty set in stone kind of thing since the news comes straight from Ben Schwartz. You know it's legit when the voice of the main lead himself confirms the news. In a tweet on August 8, 2022, the 40-year-old won a lot of hearts when he tweeted that Sonic 3 is in the works. In fact, even gave us a release date. His tweet read, Happy Holidays, Sonic Movie 3 is coming to theaters on December 20th, 2024. Ah, ha is right, we're getting a movie. Movie. The sad bit is that it's set for a 2024 release. It's a long wait, but we'll take what we can. With that release date, the movie will be directly up against James Cameron's Avatar, who talked about a 2024 holiday release for the movie. Talk about tough competition. Sonic, meet Knuckles, my new BFFAE. On that note, fans of the video game series aren't really worried about a box office battle with Avatar 3. In fact, many feel confident about the eventual showdown that's set for the winter of 2023. Maybe they're a bit too optimistic with Sonic 2's success at the box office. Many believe that with the movie's appeal to younger generations and the prospect of Shadow, the victory will be Sonic's, indeed, kicking Cameron to the curb. But that's big talk considering that we're talking about the Avatar here. You know the movie that set on broke all the records? We'll have to wait and see how that goes around. But until that, all of us can hop on the Twitter and enjoy the memes. Knuckles' sole purpose is to go after Sonic. Unfortunately, there's no trailer yet, which kind of makes sense. The movie was, after all, confirmed only a month ago. Now, fans may not have any word on to when to expect one either, but that has never stopped them from coming up with their own dates. Looking at the timeline in the last two years, we can expect a trailer somewhere around the release date. Yeah, we know it sucks, but that's just production for you. If it's any consolation, we'll get a short announcement trailer at the earliest that'll feature a logo and nothing else. Other than that, we're in for a dry spell. Here, mon frere. The mistake was thinking you'd won. I get it. <laughs> of course, with the announcement of Sonic 3, all eyes are on Jim Carrey. After all, is Sonic without Dr. Robotnik? The ending in the previous movie with Eggman was a questionable ending. We have no word on Dr. Robotnik since the movie it made it very clear that his body wasn't found. It's a genius move on Paramount's part, because this way, they're keeping the possibility of Robotnik's return open. There's no guessing of how they'll wind up his story, and we love it. Now, even though we do not want to see him once again in the upcoming movie, the six-year-old character responsible for bringing the character to life on the big screen announced that he's retiring from acting, disappointing many. If that really is the case, it's highly unlikely that Robotnik will stay dead in the movies. But hey, somewhere down the line, Jim Carrey might have a change of heart or maybe the studio will consider recasting him to move the story along. But then again, do you really want to see someone other than Jim Carrey take on the role? Beautiful. Are you? Sonic 2 is a winner for a number of reasons, but if we pick one, it would be Shadow the Hedgehog's appearance at the very end. If you remember the post credit scene, the government agents in the movie discover coordinates leading to a secret research facility. The agents are taken aback as they realize that this might just be Project Shadow. The scene then cuts the facility in question and a tube rises out of the ground revealing the black and red hedgehog we all know a little too well. He opens his eyes, but before we know what happens, the screen goes black. 
Now, that's one way to keep fans getting all hyped up. Many in the fandom have been excited to see the ultimate life form from the games come to life on the big screen. He was created in a lab by the grandfather of none other than Dr. Robotnik. He was captured by the military and with his post credit scene, Sonic 2 was able to set the stage for Sonic 3. Now, going on the basis of what we already know, Shadow will be aligning the goals of his creator concerning world domination as Dr. Robotnik is nowhere to be found. He'll make it his personal duty to seek revenge against Sonic and the rest of the gang. The story might play out something similar to how Sonic 2 did with Knuckles, from the movie's antagonist to standing beside Sonic. Now on that note, we don't know what the directors plan on using Shadow's original backstory since it is a bit grim and strange. <laughs> The director, Jeff Fowler, has proven to be an incredible asset for Sega as he worked his magic on the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog as well as the recent Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But from the looks of things, the director won't be joining us for the threequel. In an interview with Collider, the 44-year-old revealed that he's not officially involved with Sonic 3 just yet, but he's all game if the studio decides to ever call him up. Fowler loved working in the first two movies and, in his own words, nothing could make him happier. He's proud of Sonic 2 and he's proud of the first movie as well. Fingers crossed that Sega does decide to make that call. You got a little something on your... Uh, boy. Now, Fowler's return may not be confirmed at the moment, but that isn't stopping him from throwing around his ideas for the threequel. In an interview with Comic Book, Fowler was talking about games or animated shows he'd like to see adapted down the road. Now, he wasn't going into detail about any particular character, but he did reveal his thoughts on a certain character we all know about. He said, I'm hesitant to go into too much detail only because it's obviously still very early. I will say that we're teasing a character that I'm incredibly excited about. It's very personal to me as a fan. Okay, so this was before Sonic 2 hit theaters and back then we were thinking along the lines of a Metal Sonic and Amy Rose. And now we know it's Shadow, so that's one mystery solved. Anybody hurt? Sonic! Uh, oh, I... Now we're talking about the game here, not the movie. It only seemed appropriate that we talk about both Sonic 3s. It seemed like the video game, just like the movie, is hanging in the air at the moment. They really want to work on a Sonic Adventure 3, but he feels like the movie might not happen. This is the man that you want to thank for the genius for both the Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. However, it seems like the chances of him jumping on board the third film are low as he says that opportunity may have slipped by due to expectations and the money that a project like Sonic 3 might demand from Sega. Now, this is a guy who knows Sega inside out. He's been working for the company for over three decades now, so you best believe what he says. Hope you guys like this video about the upcoming live action Sonic 3. Please subscribe to our channel and watch more videos and let us know what you're looking forward to the most in the comments below. Until next time. I was thinking you'd won. I get it. <laughs>